Hey everybody, welcome back to Two Acres Evolving. So after three years of wanting to do some work over in the wooded lot next door, I finally had somebody come out and start working over in that area. I took a time-lapse video of a little bit of it, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all that right now. So this is what the area looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. Um, they had a machine and they came out and just mulched up almost the entire area. There's still some large trees that I'm gonna have to go in and cut out, uh, but for the most part, they've cleaned it up really well. So let's go ahead and walk through there and show you that specific area. So this is the main entrance to the wooded lot next door. Um, whenever I did the tour video, a while ago um, I showed this specific area so I'll make sure to put that up on the screen so you all can remember what it looked like but now quite a bit of it has been cleared out they left the mulch from all the trees that were cut up and it helps uh, keep the ground from eroding so up here on the top I'll be cleaning most of it out um, because I have specific plans that I want to do out there so let's start over there in that area so this back area is where I plan on doing most of the work. Um, this winter I plan on coming in and everything in this top area back here, I plan on cutting down and cleaning up. Um, I basically need this area to be completely free of trees right now because I plan on planting my orchard back here. And I'm also gonna be doing a chicken coop back here as well. And I'll show you where I'm gonna be putting those things. So this area over here, it slopes down quite a bit. Um, so er, before um, all this was done, these were just full of trees. So I plan on doing a retaining wall eventually in this area. Um, I don't know what kind of retaining wall I'm gonna be doing right now. Um, it may be railroad ties or it may be brick, I don't know yet. But I plan on doing a retaining wall so I can level all this out. And then this front area right here is where I'm gonna be putting the chicken coop and the chicken run. I'll probably keep these trees these two trees right here and clean them up a little bit just so that uh, the chicken coop will have a little bit of shade and then over here in this area i plan on completely clearing all this out and right here in this back area is where the orchard's going to go i plan on doing apple trees and pear trees back here and maybe grapevines and stuff like that and i just want to fill this area back here with that sort of stuff over here is actually something that I did not even know was here until all this was cleaned up. So I don't know how well you can tell on the camera, but I still have a lot of cleaning up to do in here. Um, the machine that they used to mulch all this up couldn't get through here because of all the large rocks. Um, whenever we get around to the front, I'll show you all the large rocks that are up there. But there is this ditch that was back here, and I don't know exactly what it was used for, maybe water runoff or something, but I plan on doing a water feature in this. I want to fill it in with river rock 
and have it run down and maybe to a pond down at the end. So that'll definitely be something to look forward to. So around here to the front, So down here in the front, um, we came across these very large rocks. I don't even know how I'm going to move these or what I'm going to use these rocks for, but I definitely have to use these rocks for something because they look awesome. So I'll probably have to rent some type of machine or something to come out here and move these rocks to where I want them. I have no idea what I'm going to use them for, but I have to use them for something because they look really cool. This back corner, I still have quite a bit of work. I still have quite a bit of work to do in this whole entire thing. It's just all the trees are... Most of the trees are down now, so it's going to be easier to work out in this area. And there's so many more possibilities out in this area since all those trees were cut down. But this back area, I still have a lot of trees that I've got to cut up. There was a bunch of big rocks back there as well, so he couldn't get the machine back there without messing it up, um, which I totally understand. I've got to get in there and clean all that out, and I'll probably be putting flower beds and shrubs and stuff out in that bit corner back there. This large tree right here, which I will pop up a picture on the screen of what it looks like from my house. Um, it's got some really good fall color on it right now. So this tree right here will absolutely be staying. I will not be cutting this one down. Now down here in the front part of this property, um, most of these trees are gonna be staying. I want this area up here to be wooded. Um, and actually I did not expect him to go through and clean up as much as he did down here I didn't think he was going to have enough time to do that. He, he was out here for about eight hours cleaning all this up So let me go ahead and show you down here. I've got some plans down here as well So I have another slope right here um, That I probably will be doing another retaining wall over here just to kind of hold all that dirt back And then all these trees out here are staying. I'm not gonna I may cut down a couple of them that don't look good um, but I plan on just coming through here and cleaning them up and uh, cutting the branches up high and leaving this area out here wooded. As you can see over here, now that all this has been cleaned up, we have a straight shot to the neighbor's house over there. So I'll more than likely be putting in a privacy fence along this back section just for a little bit more privacy. So this area down here, um, I did not know he was going to be doing this, but I'm very glad that he did because um, when I did the good, the bad, and the ugly garden tour, a couple of people mentioned that I should do a gazebo in this area. And ever since I saw that, I can't stop thinking about a gazebo in this area. I think it would look really good. So this middle section over here was completely cleared out. Um, and this is the perfect spot for a gazebo because it's right in the middle of this lot over here and there's trees all the way around it. So I think I'm gonna build the gazebo right here and then put lights on it so that you can see it through the trees at night. And I think that's gonna look really good. This area down here, now I'm still kind of shocked that this area looks like this because before there was no wa just walking through here. You can walk through here perfectly now and before you could not do this. So I'm very happy with how this turned out. Um, this area down here, I'm going to be keeping all the trees and I plan on doing a bunch of trails and walkways through this area and a bunch of flower beds. So this area with it all cleared out looks 10 times better and looks like a completely different property over here. And whenever I get the flower beds built and plants put out here, it's going to look even better and I cannot wait for that. So this winter, I definitely have a lot of work to do, um, cleaning all this up and getting all the trees in that back section cleared out for the chicken coop and the orchard to go in next spring but before I go there's one more section that I wanted to show you um, and give you a comparison from what it looked like when I did the tour to what it looks like now so let's go up here so now we're back over here to where the main entrance is to this lot and in the tour video I showed you this specific area and I was able to stand I think about right here and then everything back behind me was just overgrown and I couldn't go any further without risking of stepping on a snake or something. So I have video of that from the tour, so I'll be sure to pop that up on the screen to show you all what it looked like then and what it looks like now. And it looks completely different now that this has all been cleared out. Um, this flat area up here, I plan on putting a building possibly up here on this flat area and maybe another greenhouse. Um, I'm gonna have the greenhouse in my backyard over here um, eventually I went and got some pricing on some wood for that and because with everything that's been going on and everything being shut down lumber prices has skyrocketed so I have to put the greenhouse on hold for now until the prices of lumber go back down otherwise it's going to cost an arm and a leg to get that built thank you all so much for watching this update video on this lot next door I definitely have a lot of work ahead of me 
However, with this being done now, and I can see the potential of it, I cannot wait to get it all done. But anyway, thank you all so much, and we'll see you in the next one.